Marco and Jeets, X1075. We are predicting futures for you to win prizes. It's called Psychic Smackdown. Las Vegas' most credible psychic is Jilly. Jilly, welcome to the show. Well, good morning. Thank you. Uh, how are you, Jilly? I'm wonderful as always. How are you guys doing? Uh, very well, very well. Uh, I understand that uh, Ransom reached out to you this morning, so you're on hold. That's great. What uh, What are you wearing, Jilly? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> the same as every week. Absolutely nothing. Oh, you got me again, Jilly. You got me oh, again. Someday uh, I'll come off and say I'm actually wearing clothes. <laughs> no, that would break Ransom's heart. You can't do that. Well, we don't want you to lie to us. Either, no, yeah. You know? Of course, of course. 702-791-1075. Uh, Jilly will predict your future. And the most interesting future wins. This is one of these games on the radio. It's very unique because nobody's in control. Jilly sees the spirit world. She's a medium. She's a psychic. Uh, you are in touch with these spirits. And uh, you you basically just translate what you are shown and what you feel, Jilly. Exactly. Exactly. So, and sometimes they whisper little things to me, too. Yeah. So is that is that how you communicate with the ghosts? They actually whisper to you, or do you close your eyes and see it like a movie? Actually, you know, it happens in a few different ways. Sometimes I see the visions, and other times <laughs> things just come to me, and I tell people what they need to hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I meant all. All right, so we got uh, we got a pair of tickets to the return of the Red Eye Summer 2016 Tour. That will be what you're playing for today with Psychic Smackdown, 702-791-1075. Jilly, what are you giggling yeah. at, Jilly? What are, you, what are you doing to yourself? I'm doing absolutely nothing to myself. I'm just thinking it's very active this morning. It's going to be a really great day. All right, great. So, All right, hold on yeah. a second, okay? All right. All right. Most interesting future wins. We'll get to your calls and uh, try to get you to win this prize next. It's Marco and Jeets, X1075. Marco and Jeets, Psychic Smackdown. Featuring Las Vegas' most credible psychic ever. Here's Jilly Bean. All right, Jilly, welcome back to the show. Thank you, guys. Psychic Smackdown, best future wins. Nobody's in control, not even you. Just your inevitable future. And the most interesting one will win these prizes. At the end of this segment, let's start this morning with Samantha. Welcome to the show, Samantha. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, You're on with uh, Jilly. Tell her a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm 31, and I am recently divorced as of April, and I'm in a new relationship with a wonderful man and um, his two kids. And All right, perfect. So, Jilly, what, uh, what are you seeing for Samantha? Well, hey, Samantha. Good morning. <laughs> hey, good morning. Oh, <laughs> like, hey, Samantha. Hey. <laughs> Well, Samantha, it looks like um, uh, you're sitting at home, you know, just chilling, and somebody, or I should say some bodies, are going to ring your doorbell. Okay, you're just chilling, enjoying your day. You go over to the door, and you look through the peephole or out the window, really not quite sure which one it is, and you see a group of people standing out there. They've got suits on, you know. And you're thinking, oh, my gosh, I so don't want to deal with this today. Okay? Supposedly, it's a group of Jehovah Witnesses. Okay? <laughs> and, no. and you're like, yeah. And you're not even going to open up the door to these people. Okay? <laughs> Good move. Yeah. <laughs> Save your pamphlet. And there you go. And you're like, you know what? No, thank you. Go away. I'm really not interested in their going. Samantha, uh, please. They even know your name. Oh. Going, please <laughs> open up the door. We just need to talk to you for a moment. And they just really start getting on your nerves. Okay. You're not going to open up the door for these people. <laughs> you want nothing, like I said, to do with them. And they're like, please, they're begging you to open up the door. And you're like, Jesus. have a good day. Yeah. And you walk away. Apparently, they get the message while they go next door to your neighbor's house. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, God is right. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) They ring their doorbell. Your neighbor answers. And they introduce themselves. 
Patty, you blew it big time. They're not Jehovah Witnesses. They were some publishers clearing house sweepstakes. Mm. And you were a winner. And oh, you blew oh these God. people off. And oh. they said, screw this. They went to your neighbor's house. And guess what? They gave the award to them. Oh, oh wow. So they yeah. probably yeah. bought a fancy car that you'll see every day Jeez. to remind you. <laughs> Probably not, because they're probably going to move. You know what you're going to see? You're going to see a for sale sign in front of their house. <laughs> you're going to see new neighbors in a yeah, few Yeah, new neighbors <laughs> who gonna be aren't awful. millionaires. <laughs> you know gonna... what that is this morning? That's a big flick to the tit. That's what that is. Just a big <laughs> flick right to it. Ow! <laughs> going to build, like, a five-story extension on that house is what they're going to do. Gated in with armed guards. They're going to buy your house, and they're going to Knock evict it down. you. Yeah. They're going to evict you. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. Samantha, wow. Bummer. So yeah. close to a happy life and everything. Well, you got this You got this new guy, so it sounds like uh, some things are going right, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, you moved on quick. You said you got divorced in April, and you're already really happy with this other guy? Well, it was a long, extended divorce. It was like two years, you know? Two years? That's how long a divorce takes? Did you keep changing Ouch. your name or something? What happened? No, it was just how it went you know we we're both kind of like putting it off more or less uh, kind of how you still got feelings for the guy no oh okay no. all right but you like the new guy yeah all right. <laughs> congratulations cool. well thank you all right hold on okay all right all right we're gonna try to get you these tickets again uh, nobody's in control here except the spirit future jilly you're uh, hyperventilating yeah, or something you mouth are, we, breathing? are we gonna do another thing that happened a few weeks ago when you <laughs> you had a ghost gasm and God, i hope so yeah, do you? Oh, yeah. Is, has that happened since, Julie? No. No? Not since, no. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ransom's over here licking his lips. I Look, mean, he's... I'm a very sexual person, guys. You are? I am. Oh. Julie, hold on, okay? Like oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, man. She's up smoking cigarettes, gasping for air. Darth Vader or something. But she may be the ticket for you to win tickets this morning. We'll get to more of your calls on the way. Psychic Smackdown, 702-791-1075. Marco and Jeets X, 1075. Psychic Smackdown is on your future. Your unknown future is winning you tickets this morning with Jilly, Las Vegas' most credible psychic. Jilly, welcome back to the show. Nah, it's so good to be here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get over to uh, Deb. Uh, Deb, good morning. Good morning. You're on with uh, Jilly. Tell Jilly a, l- a little bit about yourself, Deb. Well, I am 57, uh, single, uh, been divorced five times. So, <laughs> Whoa! Five times? Yeah, that, how does that it, even happen? Well, I mean, some of it was my fault. Some of it was their fault. So, I mean, you know, it's... It's probably the best I, thing you can say when you've been divorced five times. The more I right. think about it, right? Mm-hmm. It's, some it of it was me, some of it was it. them. It isn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Jilly's long-lost cousin. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not so lost. They kind of have a similar voice, don't yeah. they? Hey, yeah. Deb, have you ever smoked menthols before? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> like two weeks. All right, Deb, so uh, you're on with Jilly. Jilly, uh, have you heard enough about Deb? Oh, yeah. What are the, Good morning, Deb. What is the, Good morning, Jilly. What is the spirit world showing you? Well, the spirit world is showing me that uh, Deb is actually going to go vote in November. That's a good thing. Yeah. And, um, you know, Deb, I'm not really sure who you want to vote for. Although, you're going to end up voting for Trump, okay, whether you want to or not. You're going to walk in. What do you mean whether she wants to or not? Like a gunpoint or something? No, 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 this gun control thing and all that. No guns, no guns, no. You're going to walk in to go vote. And you know how everything, you just push a button and you vote for somebody. Whether you vote for Trump or not, your ballot's going to come out like you voted for Trump. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) So... So no, oh my God. <laughs> there's double yes, two <laughs> tackles, menthols, too many menthol labs. Oh, no. So her future is <laughs> she's voting for Trump, whether she wants to or not. Kind of sounds exactly. like she doesn't want to, actually, based on that response we just got. Deb, how do you feel about that? 
Well, I mean, I, in the very beginning, I thought Trump was pretty good and, and he could do good for this country. But listening to everything going on and them bickering back and forth, I don't really know who to vote for. Well, it doesn't matter, it sounds yeah, like, right? it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, it doesn't. So. Nope, you're voting for Trump, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what happens for Trump. All right, Deb, uh, real quick, Julie, I know that's what you see, but can you give any insight on, uh, you know, Deb's got, she's had five husbands. You know, she's not going to stop. I see you with at least a couple of more. Ooh, oh, no. Deb. No, no, oh, yeah. no, I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> <laughs> you will. You will. You're a glutton for this type of punishment, woman. I hope you have, like, a punch card from your divorce lawyer. And, like, <laughs> you, you get, could, like, a seventh get a, one free or Yeah, something. seventh divorce free? <laughs> no. Unfortunately not. Are You You said you were 57 and you're single? Yes. Yeah, all right. Well, good there luck. You go, guys. Are you on uh, Tinder or anything? <laughs> No, no, no. Are you trying to get with a guy? I was at one point, but I knew it wasn't going to work out because of... Because you have a lot of experience life, in it not life, working out. No, well, his life and my life are two, you know, are two different worlds, and it's too difficult, so I... When's the last, time, when's the last time you were with a man? Um, like, in, like in the bed. Couple of days ago. Oh, oh so no, you're not? Nice. Yeah, you're still, you're still working. Everything's working. Yeah, yeah, everything's working. You know, everything's fine. Yeah, but what's I, what's wrong with that guy? I mean, uh, you know, a couple of days ago, what's wrong with him? Um, just too many things are too. Uh, his life is too difficult. My life is too difficult. Yeah, well, yours is definitely too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on a second, Deb, and uh, okay. you go make America great again. Okay. Okay. But, right. Jilly, you, you are saying she will, in fact, marry someone else. Oh, yeah, definitely. She's <laughs> not done. She's in a little denial. She's rolling around in a sack. Five yep. husbands. God, I give her some credit. All right, quick break, and we're coming back. Psychic Smackdown, best future, wins you tickets. Marco and Cheats, Psychic Smackdown. Featuring Las Vegas' most credible psychic ever. Here's Jilly Bean. Hello, Jilly. Hello. Welcome back to the show, Psychic Smackdown. Best future wins, most interesting future. You are not in control of winning this contest. None of us are, but your future is. Uh, let's get to oh. Shane. What's up, Shane? Hey, what's up? Hey, my man. You're on now with uh, Jilly. Tell her a little about you. Hey, Jilly. I'm a 35-year-old man, um, at-home father. Uh, my wife is the breadwinner of the family. We were both salespeople. She could, uh, I could sell produce to a farmer. She could sell sand to an A rep. Well, let me tell you, you're so, you're a great sales guy because you have convinced your wife that you yeah. need to stay home while she works. <laughs> yeah. So well, you I are. Her mom. I, I missed her mom at home. So. Did I don't you say know. you could sell sand to an A rep? <laughs> uh, she, <laughs> she can sell sand to an A rep. Like an A rep. Uh, to a farmer. I will say right? the fact that wow. uh, you convinced her of that, you're clearly the better salesman, by the way. You win that debate. Uh, I appreciate it. Appreciate all right. It. Well, so uh, she must make a lot of money if you get to stay home all day. Oh, uh, we sustain. Yes. We're okay. Uh, all right. Good for you. Listen, I'm jealous, brother. Uh, Jilly, what do, you, uh, what do you see here for Shane? Well, good morning, Shane. Good How morning. Are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. How are you? Mm. I'm wonderful. I always am. Hey, cool. you know, I I see you going out and having a good time here uh, at a baseball game. Cool. And I'm a baseball fan. How are you? Well, I see you going to a game, and that's a good thing. You've got great seats, and you're having a good time. So, Shane, in the middle of this game, you decide, oh, you're going to take a selfie and post it. Yeah, you know, we all do this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I even see you holding a big old wiener in your hand while you're doing this. You know, oh. you oh, hey, what can I do? <laughs> Does he do it at least? Big old wiener. All right. A big old wiener. Know. Yep. Alrighty. So here you are. You're all ready. You're posed perfectly. And you're ready to snap the selfie. And at the moment, you. I should laugh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the, the moment you snap the selfie, Man, there is a ball that is just hit out of the park and right into the stands. And guess what? 
Darling, you get smacked right in your head with this fastball. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's my luck, yeah. man. My luck. Gets boinked on, on in the head with a ball. Oh, smacked. I mean, like, in just in the center of your forehead. And, man, <laughs> it hurts like hell, no doubt. <laughs> Wait, okay. This is while he's he's taking his, his photo? So does yeah. he actually capture it? Well, no, oh, well. he's taking a picture of himself not paying attention, and okay. the ball flies in the air and just whacks him yeah, in the head. Yeah. Whacks him right in the center of his forehead. And, unfortunately, your wiener goes flying, you know, so you're out there. Uh, no, no, no. But... You do get a concussion, okay? Yeah. You're going to be fine, but I mean, okay. this ball smacked you hard. Okay, here we go, Shane. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, yeah. now we're just getting into the here we go. She, he's already been hitting the head go. with a Jeez. ball, and now <laughs> here we go. Okay. All right, well, the good news is you will live, okay? So <laughs> we're good there. So well, that's a positive. here we go. Yeah, here we go. Unfortunately, you know, it kind of screws up your head just a bit. Not really your head, but your mind and the way you function. From here on, what they're telling me right now, and I shouldn't laugh, but it is kind of amusing because, unfortunately, from that moment on and for the rest of your life, every fourth word that comes out of your mouth is going to be, four, as if you're on a golf course. (laughs) What a bizarre turn of events. I mean, he gets hit with a baseball, and now he screams four all the time. No, he screams four. Oh, I'm just sorry. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty yeah, good. It's yeah, four. it's pretty good. Yeah. It's already yeah. happening. Huh? It's already happening. It's already. There you go. Every fourth word, mind you. Now, the kind of fun thing about this is that you're uh, – Selfie, it goes viral, and people are loving it. You get more than yeah. ever, ever, uh, ever. ever. Uh. So you're you're kind of it sounds like brain damaged, but the good news is your picture went viral. Yeah, viral baby, viral baby, you got it. And, and did I did I see the baseball team? Did you what? Did I did I have a lawsuit with the baseball team for going getting a concussion and all that? I'm sure there's got to be some. Well, some it there, says right? on the ticket to uh, yeah. be aware of flying objects. Oh, no, you go viral. Yeah. You're probably on sports. I mean, what more do you? You are a sales guy. You are <laughs> God, he's getting all this fame and he wants more and yeah. more and at more. At least give me some tickets to my favorite band. Can we hire you here at the radio station? Is what I'm trying to ask. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to talk you out of your successful retirement? Could walk into people's offices and four, four. Oh no! Hi, my name is Shane. Four. <laughs> All right, Shane. Uh, good luck, buddy. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Hang on four. a second. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Going viral. Yeah. All right, Psychic Smackdown. Jilly, hang on a second. Uh, we'll get to a couple more calls this morning. And best future wins, most interesting future will win this prize. It's Marco and Jeets X one zero seven five. Psychic Smackdown, Las Vegas' most credible psychic, giving away prizes for people who have the most interesting future. And again, you're not in control of this. Neither are we. Nobody is. This is just your future. But Jilly tells you what it's going to be, and then we decide based on that interesting future. Who should win this prize pack? A pair of tickets to the return of the Red Eye Summer 2016 Tour. Uh, This is a great, great, great prize pack at Mandalay Bay Beach. On July 1st, just a couple days away, uh, let's welcome Jilly back to the show. Hello, Jilly. Hi. Our Las Vegas' most credible Ooh. psychic. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, what was that, Jilly? What? Well, you, I said so, hi. Oh, and there was like a little moan or something. Like a little after. giggle or something. Yeah, a giggle, not a moan. There is a difference. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, welcome Sarah to the show. What's up, Sarah? Hey. Hey, tell Jilly a little bit about you. Uh, wow. Um, I don't know. I, well, I turned 23 yesterday. It was my birthday. Happy and birthday. Happy birthday. You. Oh, thank you. And I'm in a master's program at UNLV. I'm like about to walk into class in 10 minutes. Well, we'll see if that's going to happen yeah. or not. We'll you see. might, you may die before you get yeah. there. Yeah, I might have a traumatic brain injury by the end of this. Okay. Jillio. You never know. What Hopefully. Are, what are you seeing for Sarah? <laughs> Sarah, where do you work? Uh, well, I'm a master's student at UNLV, so I'm working on my master's in marriage and family therapy. Oh, that's awesome. Great. Well, you know what? 
I hate to tell you this, and you're, you're, you've gone this far, but um, what they're telling you, you need to just quit. Okay? <laughs> Hold on. She needs to quit the <laughs> master's program? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. This is pretty expensive. Well, I understand that, but you need to walk in there. You said 10 minutes. You need to walk up to your professor and just say, you know what? I quit and walk the hell out, and I'm going <laughs> to tell you why. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, Jilly sounds very forceful about yeah. this one. Yes. I mean, you I'm are. Angry. Yes. In control because, of the future. Yes, exactly. Because if you don't go in and quit, you are going to miss out on an opportunity of a lifetime. Okay? In order for this incredible turn of events to happen for you, you have to quit. You cannot be in class. You cannot be working on your master's. Now, along with these turn of events, you are going to have the most incredible good luck ever. Oh, my okay? God. Ever. Ever. So Although, what... if you don't walk out, you are going to miss the most incredible opportunities of your life. Now, wait a minute. I don't know. Jilly. I'm like going to China in August, and this program kind of has a lot of opportunities. <laughs> And not like the ones that are waiting for you. Mm. Oh man, the I feel grass like you're is always greener, right? You're, I feel like you're getting a great excuse to skip class today, and for some reason, you're just blowing <laughs> it off. I don't know. At this level of school, you don't just skip class. It's really expensive. <laughs> well, Jilly, I don't know that Sarah is fully understanding what you're saying. She's not, <laughs> honey. Okay, yeah. you're gonna blow this incredible chance of a lifetime. I can't pinpoint what it is. The point is, if you're in class, you're going to miss out on this. Where should so I you go need, instead of class You need right to now. just... Huh? Where should I like be instead of class in 10 minutes? I don't know. Anywhere but class. I say go in. <laughs> yeah. Tell your professor... This is nearly as interesting as the traumatic brain injury. <laughs> oh man! Well, well maybe your interesting yeah. just ain't that. Uh, that future ain't that interesting. I don't know, that but I see. Point of the competition. Sarah, what are you studying? Uh, marriage and family therapy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're going to go to China? <laughs> yeah, I'm giving a presentation at a university there. <laughs> they eat dogs. <laughs> I'm not going to eat any meat there. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. And my dogs aren't liking this at all right now. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> You're not supposed to go to China and eat dogs. You're supposed to quit <laughs> school and go live and have the most exciting adventure ever with wonderful good luck and just fun, fun, fun. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Jilly. <laughs> but not a problem. Anytime. Yeah. Well, Jilly, all, all you can do, Jilly, is you can guide them to the water. You can't make them drink. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Can't Sounds like Sarah's going to screw this up. Oh, she is. She yeah. is. I know. You know that scene. I really am going to screw this up, but you know, I think it's uh, the best decision here. Well, you're wrong, is what Jilly well, said. Obviously, you're wrong. I mean, it's I mean, I mean, dead I mean, wrong. I mean, yes. you're missing out on incredible opportunities here unbelievable. but of course that's your choice unbelievable this is the equivalent you know in the new batman movies where the joker has a pile of money and he lights it on fire <laughs> yes. that's what sarah's doing what an idiot exactly. I, don't know, I don't know why you wouldn't chance one day skip class one day for this amazing turn of good luck that jilly's talking i just i don't get it uh, i don't get it well my class right now is only two people so if i'm not there it's, it's not, really not cool. about them yeah. it's about you it's, it's what all live. about you yeah. if you're not in there they'll live no one's you. crying me. It's right, okay Sarah. to be selfish sometimes, Sarah. Hang on, Sarah, okay? Hang on. Wow. Okay. On. <laughs> Sarah blew it. She's going to go sit in China, and she's going to eat um, Labrador sliders and do a presentation. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. They eat those dogs. Terrible. My God. Jilly. Um, yeah. That's unbelievable. I can't believe she's not going to do it. I don't think there's any way she's skipping class this morning. No way. No, I don't think so either. She's 23. You know the problem is she's 23, and she's convinced that there's one path, and it's school and it's between the lines and she's already put all this time it's a shame at 23 you wouldn't just hang it out it sounds like if you would just skip class you could have paid off all of her student loan debt like by next week sounds like the opportunity's massive like something just massive is gonna massive oh my god oh well all right (laughs) speaking of massive jilly you uh you have become a major celebrity you are las vegas's most credible psychic and part of the deal here 
is uh, you have to uh, you get to promote yourself here. So take a couple of minutes uh, or a couple of seconds and, and tell right. people where they can find you. Okay, everybody, you can find me out at the World Famous Time Your Saloon in Good Springs. Um, we have great food. We have great live music tonight. Whiskey Wednesdays with Big Willies. And if you really want to have a great time, <laughs> you can come out to my haunted lockdowns. Oh. Actually, oh, excuse me, I have a tickle. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me, I have a tickle. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Already, I have just, um, it's kind of cool. No, we know, what you, we know what you did. That's, it's fine. So, <laughs> yep. so no. you and the Big Willies at the Pioneer Saloon, you do the Haunted Let's, Lockdown. Yeah. Is it is it hauntedlockdown.com? Yes, it is. And I have just been promoted to <laughs> director. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. my God. Director. What? Director of the Haunted Lockdowns, and that's really very cool. Wait a minute. You're the new vice president of yeah. Ghosts? Well, that too, of course. No, oh. I'm the CEO. What are you talking about? <laughs> CEO. Yeah, so hauntedlockdown.com. Go there. If you go on there, you can pick a date any night of the week. We do these all the time, me and my ghost team. And right now we're primarily an all-girl ghost team, which is really very cool. Yep. And so you go on there, you use the promo code, which is mine, Jelly Beans, and you get a $20 discount. But what I would like to throw in real quick, Lacey, I love you, girl. We had a great time the other night. We are getting people that are coming into the saloon for the haunted lockdowns. And let me tell you guys, it is a trip. People, they recognize my voice. Mm -hmm. They recognize my name. And when they realize that it's me, it is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and I want to thank you all for this because... You guys keep saying what a celebrity I'm turning into. Yeah. It is really amazing. I can't go anywhere no. without people <laughs> recognizing my giggle or my voice or whatever. And then <laughs> it's so cute. And then they approach me, and I'm just me, guys. I'm just a real person. Oh, and here we go here again. We go. Oh, it's Jesus just me. Christ. I'm a normal person like you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, not. So normal, We've, listen, I've different. seen the phases in people over the years, and so you're going through that. Let me talk myself off the celebrity ledge while still <laughs> knowing that you're perched on the celebrity <laughs> ledge. That was cute, Jilly. I'm a real thank person. You. That was very cute. But I am. Anyway, so <laughs> I want to thank you guys for this, and it's great meeting all of you fans out there. I'm having a great time with it. All right, listen, let me tell you something. These big willies guys, whoever these guys are, these uh -huh. these clowns, I'm sure they're nice guys. They they would never get as much pub without you. They owe you big. All right. They do. I'm sure they're great guys, but these big willies, they they really owe you. And I hope they take care of you. They do. You all know right. what? They're a great bunch of guys and we you know, we're family. It's awesome. Right. TMZ will be showing up oh, soon. Yeah. The paparazzi. Absolutely. It's a circus over at the uh <laughs> the saloon. Pioneer there. Saloon. Yes yeah. it is. And you guys still you gotta get out there, that's all I'll say. We're coming. We're coming, don't worry. I know you're <laughs> we're coming. Yeah, last week she told us she has her own bus now. Oh yeah, she's got buses driving her around. Tours and stuff. We have a, yeah, we have a shuttle service, so right, if stop, you don't bragging, drive, stop bragging, stop <laughs> bragging. All right. Yeah. Settle down big time. Yeah. We get it. Uh, but you're just a real person. Yeah, he has a bus. With promo codes and buses. <laughs> All right, Jilly. Listen, uh, thank you for being here. You're the best. We'll talk next week. Thank you, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Thanks.